Hi, we wanted to show you a cool new feature in Organimi called Spreadsheet Views. This is a new feature that allows you to quickly look at the charts in tabular format. So if you are an editor or an admin or an owner, you can edit the chart in a spreadsheet view. If you're a viewer, you won't see this view. It comes up as a spreadsheet. You can notice here this first column is just an index number. And then the manager and the manager position fields are locked. You can't change them. But in the other fields, I could change this title, for example. I could say... This is Executive Assistant 2, or something like that. There are some interesting features to check out here. So I could select a whole row. I could select a whole column. I can hide columns. For example, we don't use phone or description or a couple of these other fields. So I can hide some things, and then my chart fits the screen a bit better. I can adjust the width to some columns so I can see things better if I want to see title, etc. I can easily change values. Even though this is a single pick list, I could change it to Miami here. And the changes are instant. If I go back to the chart, you can see that Benny is now in Miami. So jumping back to the spreadsheet view, I can simply change it back to Chicago. One of my favorite features on this is the fill down. So for example, in my Chicago office, just one of these rows has the address. But I actually want to fill it for all these folks. So I just grab this drag handle here and drag these down. I can do Chicago. I have my Miami office here, and I have New York. So that takes me to here. Oh, and then I see I'm repeating Chicago again. So what I could do is use the sort feature. Here I could sort this by office location and make that ascending, and then that will put all the Chicagos at the top. I can then just grab this again, drop this down. So for some veteran Organimi users, this will really be coming in handy for large repetitive changes. For example, if you're just in your org chart one day and you come in and they're like, hey, we moved the Miami office. Can you update everyone's address? You can just go into the spreadsheet view and go to Miami and say, oh, yeah, we just moved down the street. It's now 1221 Brickell Avenue. And we just grab that and then we could just fill down. And now everybody is updated quickly. And so you used to have to go in and edit them one by one in the chart. So this is a lot easier. So that's just a quick overview. If you want to check this out, please do. One thing to note is that there is help, and it's up here in the right. So you can just pop this up, and this gives you an easy way to understand how to do fill down and column resizing. There's a find feature. Oh, I forgot to show you that. And then you could do row and column selection. And there are some keyboard sh shortcuts here for cut and paste, etc. So let's just hop up and show find. Uh, say you wanted to find or search for something like ME. You can just click through each one of these places where you find it. Or if you wanted to search for a word like product, you'll see there are five locations here. Director of product management here, product manager number one, and a number of these things. If I wanted to add someone here, I can easily do that in the chart view, right? So if I wanted to add someone to the support team here, just another customer support rep, we could just use the plus button here and put them right in here the traditional way. Or if we were back in the spreadsheet view, we can do it down here. First, let's unsort this. So if we go back, we can sort this by none, and then we unsort it. We can come down here and we can just pick the manager. We see the list of all the existing people in the chart, and we want to pick Quentin Queensway as he was the manager of customer support. Then we'll add the new person here directly by clicking the select and then add new. And we'll call this person Sandra. Oops, that, that's the last name. So I can just cut and paste this over here to the first name. And then add the last name Sanders, and the email will be sandy3 at zengario.com, and she's a customer support rep. So again, I can just go up here, and I can find the old customer support rep, or one of the other customer support rep, and I can do a control C, and then down here a control V to cut and paste, and then that's created as a new role, as you can see below. I can go back to the chart view now, and then I'll see, oh, there's Sandy Sanders. I could edit the role here just like I could before. So I could edit the lot, the office location, et cetera. I could put that value for Miami in. And we'll see that that's updated in the spreadsheet view now when we go back to see her there again at the bottom of the view. I could copy the address and put that, uh, put that down here. So it's pretty quick to add people through the spreadsheet view. So that is what we wanted to go through for the new spreadsheet views. Check it out. Call us if you have any issues or questions. And remember, you can't cut and paste a bunch of rows in here 
This is really just meant for quick editing of existing charts and not for creating new charts, although you can add people one by one if you like.